This episode of today's iconic moment in New York sports history is presented by Tri-State Cadillac Dealers. March 15th, 2015, New York City Football Club played their first ever home game and defeated the New England Revolution 2-0 in front of over 40,000 City fans. So instead of me just standing up and giving you guys a history lesson, we have joining us today a member of the first ever City team and current NYCFC assistant coach, Mehdi Belushi. Mehdi, I'm not going to have us sit here and, and feel extra old while we take a trip down memory lane, but I need you to take us through a walk through that day. First, let's start off with what was the feeling and the vibe like in the dressing room before kickoff? It's, it's, it's a huge day for, for New York City soccer, really. Um, it's, it's a new franchise. There's a huge buzz um, around the team. Are you see my picture frozen, but I'm not sure if I am on your end or not. But... Uh, um, Obviously, a big day. It's a new franchise, first home game. We played the first away game at Orlando. I think that there was 60-some thousand people. Um, we pull off a tie, uh, and then we come back home in front of our, you know, 40,000 at Yankee Stadium. Um, you know, for the players, it was it was too good to be true in, in the league back then to have a franchise um, in New York City. Uh, but not, not only that, have 40,000 attempt at Yankee Stadium and pull off a win. So, you know, massive, massive game that will go down in the history of the club. Yeah, I know the vibe had to be crazy and the energy had to be crazy before the game. But when David Villa scored that first goal, what was the reaction from the team and what was the feeling like in Yankee Stadium? Feeling was amazing. Um, we were really excited to, to, to play our first home game. Um, we didn't know what it was going to be like, right? So we, we haven't. You know, we, we didn't play any uh, preseason games or any friendly games prior to that first home game at Yankee Stadium. So we didn't know what the vibe was going to be like, and it turned out to be amazing. Uh, it's one of the um, my favorite m- memories out of that that season um, in terms of not only having 40,000 for our own first home game, but yet, you know, pulling pull the three points as well. Uh, you were an inaugural player, and now you're on the team's coaching staff. So how far has this team come from March 15th, 2008 to today, eight years later? I think, for one, I think the league in general, right, the level of play is, is, is much higher and, and it improves at a, at a fast rate year year in and year out. And I think the level now is is, is at an impressive level. And I, I, would, I would say top it rivals top five, top six leagues in, in Europe. And I think you can see it in, in the in, in the quality of players that are coming across to play in the MLS now. Um, I think, have, 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 you know, had I been a player now, it'd be difficult for me to to crack into the starting lineup because there's so much quality. So I think that side of it has gotten so much better. I think the fan base, of course, took a hit in, in, in the COVID days, but, you know, we, we'd like to get back to the days where we get 40,000 at Yankee Stadium again. Yeah, it's right around the corner. But, Medic, game recognizes game. Uh, we want to thank you for your contributions to New York sports history, and uh, good luck with the rest of the season. I appreciate you guys having me over. Thank you.